uh, I am Mrs. Uma and uh, my father's uh, name is Dandraj. My mother's name is Josephine and we come from the extreme uh, southern part of Tamil Nadu, India. And I am married to uh, Mohan Raj, he is a scientist, Dr. Mohan Raj. And we lived for some time in north and you know like uh, we came back to Coimbatore. Now we, lived in the, we live in the western side of Tamil Nadu. And what is the uh, name of your blog? It is called uh, uh, TamilNaduRecipes.com. One man's food is another man's poison. True. What I like, you cannot eat it. It may be size spicy for you, too spicy for you, may bring tears down. Uh, my mother, grandmother uh, would have stayed in her kitchen uh, most of her uh, uh, lifetime in the kitchen. Like because there was no stove, there was no uh, gas stove, there was no blender, there was no grinder, there was only a grinding stone which will take minimum one hour to grind and grind. There was nothing else, you know, like you know, other facilities in those days. And she must have spent, and moreover, uh, every house has, you know, like lots of children, 10, 15, 16. It was common in those days. So, but you know, I think uh, my grandmother and others, they spent a lot of time in the kitchen. I am the daughter of a police officer and uh, he was a very strict person, you know, like, uh, and you know, like he had, he had rules. Like six o'clock sharp, you must be in the house. Uh, but he was a gentleman, and he was a very loving father. And uh, like you know, like, uh, but uh, one time you know that he said you know six o'clock back at home means you know like that was the rule, it should not be broken, and things like that. So, uh, but other freedom they gave because of my background, uh, compared to many of the houses. Uh, in Tamil Nadu uh, because of a religion also which gives us a long rope and much, much freedom than the other women. We could talk what we wanted mostly because you know like I may many times many people tell me that I am uh, outspoken and it is be because of my uh, background, my father's background, he was open and uh, uh, he could say what he wanted, you know, like, I, I think, uh, I, I am like him, I talk and then think, which is not right. Do not grumble in the kitchen, it is tough sometimes when you are tired and especially if you are working, it is uh, really tired. Sometimes in the evenings, uh, you cook with a long face, but always know that, you know. Uh, that's an opportunity. That's the time given to you. And my point is, you know, not only in cooking, in everything you do, give all your heart and soul and mind to it to make it perfect, as far as possible. And uh, don't grumble. I also grumble. I used to grumble. I still do it. But you know, like uh, you are giving to somebody, a loved one. You are not doing it for others. You are not doing it for, you know, like, do it with love, do it with a happy heart, that you are able to do it and, you know, share it, love life. You spend time in the kitchen, little bit of time and, you know, like, uh, if it does not come well, you know, next day you try it in a different way. Finally, the taste is, you know, like, uh, till you get the right uh, taste, you have to keep on trying. Uh, and uh, that is that's the point, you have to cook and cook and, you can't make a dosa easily. You can't make, you know, like, in, uh, within two days you can't learn. It takes, you know, I only know the right temperature, reduce the flame and uh, raise the flame and, you know, like, uh, you need all these uh, things, like uh, it comes with the experience. And uh, uh, 
lots of many small details like you know uh, when I first see a person you know chopping the vegetables uh, I can understand that that person is a good cook like Rita does she is a good cook and uh, like you know the way she is chopping vegetables you know like tiny bits you know like and uh, things like that so I know uh, I cook the breakfast item dosa normally we don't have the masala dosa every day because it's a bit too much heavy on the stomach potatoes and you know like uh, and then boil the potatoes take the potatoes and too much of potatoes and put it inside and oil and this and sambar and chutney everything normally we won't have you know like idli dosa idli is uh, the steamed item which is light for the stomach and uh, we have it with chutney that is made of coconut we grind the ch chutney put it in the blender mixi we call it mixi here in india it's a blender for you in uh, your place and uh, put the coconut gratings no rima don't come and uh, uh, she's there don't get scared so the coconut along with green chilies and you know you get the chutney you need the basic item you know you don't eat the dosa uh, plain you, you need something else to go with that and there are many options uh, in our house uh, we want to have the dosa or idli with egg also uh, one day one side you know like like that whatever we want sometimes you want a scrambled egg or you want sometimes we uh, break the egg put it over the dosa and give dosa egg dosa that is one item in my house dosa if you eat it like that it is not very tasty it's a little bit insipid bland which we don't like you know we people like it's just the bread like bread you know like you need something butter to go with that you know jam to go with it you don't eat you know sometimes you take plain bread but normally you want to have something to do with the add something to the bread to eat like a sandwich you eat you don't eat it plain isn't it unless you are sick same thing we can't eat plain dosa or idli we need a side dish to go with that some accompaniment to go with that so normally it is chutney which is easy to make put everything in the blender there are so many different kinds of uh, chutney you make with mint leaves you make with coriander leaves or you make with tomatoes onions also plain onions also like we want and according to our mood and you know timing and we don't have the time you know nowadays you know like we even have it with egg that's all it, that's over mm, I remember you know and the, why I refused you know one of the reasons is this whenever I try to you know show off or something I failed miserably because you know like when I got married and we went to the north that is a place closer to Delhi with my husband and uh, all my neighbors came and told me Uma why don't you cook uh, and show us how to make a cake I said why not why not why not and then you know like and uh, that evening my house was full of you know women and they said you know I said you know no and a very triumphant tone you know said uh, you must take 100 grams of sugar 100 grams of uh, flour maida and you must wait you must take two eggs beat the egg you know put it in the blender or use the uh, thing to egg beater and you know the egg must you know become fluffy and things like exact measurements and this and that you know was like uh, I was you know saying everything in a very arrogant tone as though I was the greatest chef <laughs> like that and they were all writing down notes and looking at me looking down and writing everything and I put the cake in that those days I had a very uh, basic item for uh, making a cake not like what I have now uh, it was not one uh, OTG electric one I have now and earlier I had a one basic one which I had to keep on the uh, stove and so I kept everything and kept it there you know and, and after one hour the cake uh, I got the smell I got it out and I, br I brought it out I put it on the vessel and plop it was flat 
it was you know it didn't come out and you know what they said they all laughed and laughed and what is this this looks like a dosa big dosa only what did you make you know like i lost my face that was that was the day i thought you know like i should not hereafter give any demonstration or you know like i didn't know what went wrong maybe with the butter or with you know that is one thing i find that keeping uh, i mean buying fish or mutton fresh from the stall and cooking it has a different flavor and taste much better than what you get from the freezer and moreover i know like i have no no i don't know even if i keep it i don't keep it for a longer period that is one thing so this is uh, what about vegetables vegetables i also that also at least once a week i get everything i go to the market and i get everything you know like fresh mostly i am not fond of you know the thing is you know i am fond of other things like you know like uh, uh, peaches i love uh, uh, but i want to get all local items local fresh items and for example like uh, tomatoes and eggplant and uh, okra that is ladies figure and greens yeah like you know each has a different you know like uh, the, like some things you know some vegetables they have to be mature you know the ripe 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 ones whereas some some things have to be tender and you touch it and you know like uh, that option is given in the market sometimes sometimes some people say don't touch but by looking at it you know like you know because the market you always get fresh and you have when you go regularly to some shops for example when i go to the market i know a person from uti who brings from his own farm it's fresh you get uh, tomato you get all cabbage cauliflower peas everything you know carrot everything green and red and you know like what how you want and you get it and come and cook and you know like it's i don't want to go for uh, items which are not you know in our shops nowadays in markets also now not in the markets in some shops mark, uh, that's departmental stores you get all those uh, uh, items which are imported like we get uh, apples from us and uh, apples from uh, like you know simla that is india and uh, chinese peaches and things like that grapes from australia uh, which is uh, for which you have to pay through your nose i don't want i don't want if uh, so then you know, like same grapes i get it here for 1/4 of the trade i go for the indian variety and you know like maybe that was packed one month back what we get from us or uk maybe that was packed 15 days back whereas this one is you know like must have been packed that morning or the previous day why should i go for the other one paying so much no i want to go for fresh items local items of course sir, there are certain things which you can't you know buy here so for those things i don't mind paying i don't paying through the nose and because i love peaches and uh, when i went abroad i bought i sat down and ate and ate you know relishing everything <laughs> so and spoons and nowadays you know in, in uh, cities and uh, places you know like uh, cities and uh, towns in certain houses mostly many houses nowadays and they started using forks and spoons for many of even rice i mean rice uh, but it is for convenience for example you go to the restaurant and you take you know you start sit talking there for hours and then it is easy to eat and you know keep it and walk off we use both hands and uh, spoons in the house no problem uh but certain items i feel like eating rice with the curd which is yogurt for you the way you mix it mash it mash it it's good i get that to know that uh, that mixture comes the combination the when you put your hand and uh, mash it with your fingers that turns out little different 
that's my idea in india especially in you know like uh, if you show even if you are left handed you know like and you know like uh, especially in the south if you show your left hand you know like it's uh, less uh, respect and you are not allowed to eat with your right hand that is the thing even left handed people you know without you know like uh, when they are small and when they start with their left hand you know the people were forced to and the, the parents uh, they force the children to you know eat with the right hand even left handed people for eating they are sometimes forced to eat with the right hand why because you know we use the left hand for all the menial jobs oh that's the idea you get the point and because we use the hand for eating not like you you are using forks and spoons we are used to we have to use the hand for everything eating also so it has to be clean uh, my background i want to say because you know like uh, this is tamil nadu means most of them cook lots of vegetarian items but in our houses especially my family and my father never ate without a non vegani sauce he always wanted mutton or fish or something in his plate every 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 lunch every dinner not the breakfast breakfast he could eat without non veg but he always wanted fish or egg or something and we had to give him that in tamil nadu and in india mostly on auspicious days we have days you no know, like certain days are auspicious uh, fixed for you know worshiping god on fridays and especially most uh, mostly hindus people of this uh, country they don't eat non veg on fridays and that is reason uh, you don't get fish in coimbatore at all on fridays the ma- fish market is closed on fridays and what you are eating on if you go to the restaurant and eat the fish on friday that was the yesterday's leftover or you know kept it in the fridge you don't get fresh fish on fridays and uh, and when they have a festival religious festival they don't prepare mostly they don't prepare uh, vegetarian i mean non vegetarian items it's only pure vegetarian food okay. and especially some gods goddesses they have preferences like i love something like ladu or you know their gods also like certain items so even in my blog i have given that you know like this is prepared on you know pongal is prepared for pongal and offered first to the deity goddess and then taken and eaten and you know like the ladus and uh, certain items they are a must for such occasions and each festival has a, has an item special item which has to be prepared prepared and offered to the deity before eating